హలో ఎవ్రీవన్ వెల్కమ్ బ్యాక్ టు భరణి టుడేస్ టాపిక్ ఈజ్ లాజికల్ రీజనింగ్ మిస్సింగ్ నెంబర్స్ దే విల్ గివ్ సమ్ ఫిగర్స్ అండ్ ఇన్ దట్ వన్ నెంబర్ దే విల్ నాట్ గివ్ యూ హౌ టు ఫైండ్ అవుట్ ఫర్ ఎనీ కాంపిటేటివ్ ఎగ్జామ్ ఆర్ ఎనీ గవర్నమెంట్ ఎగ్జామ్స్ దిస్ టైప్ ఆఫ్ క్వశ్చన్స్ విల్ బీ దేర్ టూ ఆర్ త్రీ సో హౌ యూ హౌ టు థింక్ లాజికల్లీ అండ్ హౌ యూ హౌ టు ఆన్సర్ ఐ విల్ ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ యూ సమ్ సమ్స్ ఫర్ దిస్ లైక్ దిస్ వన్ సమ్ ఈజ్ దేర్ మీన్స్ వాట్ యూ హౌ టు డూ ఫస్ట్ basic simple things i'll explain first basic concept then i'll go to the hard sums in this if you know tables squares and cubes then it will be very easy for you to do if you don't know just learn or else observe that first what is there then you will come to know see first sum is there like this 1 8 this one you don't know this is a empty place they have given and this is 27 and they gave four options i'll give you 5 seconds time you think or else i'll only explain now see here nothing very simple here one is there that means what one cube is what one cube is what one only two cube is what two two zero four four two zero eight 3 cube is what 3 3 is a 9 9 3 is a 27 then it is coming in the row 1 1 cube 2 cube 3 cube then what will come next 4 cube 4 4 is a 16 16 4 is a 64 then what is the correct answer for this option b 64 it will come here 64 that is the way you have to do this one i will show you two three more sums see one more sum is there they have given 27 9 2 and 1 like this three figures they have given one figure they have not given the number they gave the four options you have to find out first you see the sum and what you understand see here 9 is there 27 is there that means what if you multiply you will get this 27 9 with what you have to multiply 9 3 is a 27 here what they have given 2 that means what here 1 is there here 3 is there this 3 and then do subtract 2 minus 2 this one whatever you are multiplying with this number 9 3 is a 27 with this 3 you have to subtract 2 3 minus 2 is what 1 that is only the answer here they have given you first see in one thing same thing is continuing here also then that is only the logic for the third one see here 7 is there how many times will go 7 in 35 7, 5 is a 35. I told you whatever number you are multiplying with that you have to subtract this. 5 minus 3 is what? 2. That means this logic is correct only. Then now what you have to do? 4, how many times if you multiply you will get 36. 4, 9 is a 36. What is the number you are multiplying here? 9. With this you have to subtract this number. 9 minus 4 is what? 5. That means what is the answer here? 5. option c this is the correct answer see one more sum is there they have given like this table 12 13 156 14 and you don't know this number and 154 15 13 and 195 then what you have to do just observe first 12 into 13 you do 12 into 13 that is 156 then multiply this to 15 into 13 195 then this one you don't know you have to find out 14 into with what if you multiply you will get 154 that means what you have to do just divide this 154 divided by 14 you do how many times 11 times So what you will get you have the option 11, 11 is here. So in this place you will get 11. See one more reasoning sum is there. 90, 18, 36 they have given like this. This they don't know. They have not given the number. You should find out what is there. They have given the four options. What you have to do first. See what is the smallest number in that. 18 is there. 18 if you what if you multiply you will get 36. 18 2 is a 
thirty six. Then eighteen five za ninety. That means eighteen table they did eighteen two za here eighteen five za there. Same thing you apply here also. If it is same, then you have to use the logic here also. Then thirteen thirteen two za twenty six. Then thirteen five za sixty five. Then here, what is the smallest number in this fifteen? Fifteen. What you have to do first? They are doing with two. Then they are doing are doing with five. Here also fifteen twos are thirty. Then fifteen fives are seventy five. Already you have seventy five. What number is not there? Thirty. That means here is thirty. The option is there thirty. Here it is there. This is the correct answer. This is the way you have to think logically. See one more sum is there. Nine six and Three figures they have given. In one thing they have not given the number. You should find out four options they have given. What you have to do? First see the sum. Nine, six, and one one seven is there. That means with what if you do you will get this number. You think first. First you do normally if you add you won't get. Then do the squaring and see. Nine square nine nine is eighty one. Six square six six is thirty six. So if you add this both, you will get one one seven. That means squaring of both the numbers and do the addition, you will get the third one. Same way you apply here also. Two square is equal to four. Eight square eight eight is a sixty four. Sixty four plus four sixty eight. You are getting this answer. Then same way continue here also. Seven square seven seven is a forty nine. Three square three three is a nine. Forty nine plus nine. Fifty-eight, fifty-eight is here already. So option D is correct. That means this place you will get fifty-eight. This is the way you have to do. See one more sum is there. In this what logic you have to use? Four, three, two, and five is there. In middle they have given one number. Same way they have given three figures. One figure they have not given the number. That missing number only you have to find out. First you see very simple. This three you multiply. This two numbers you multiply. Four threes are twelve. Five twos are ten. Then add this two. Twenty two. You will get the middle number. Same way how to use here also. One twos are two. Seven sixes are forty two. Forty two plus two forty four. You are getting this answer. Same way how to do here also. Eight sevens are. Fifty-six, five twos are ten. Then sixty-six. Sixty-six is there. Here it is there. So here you will get the answer as sixty-six. This is the way. If it is the same number, you see whether if you multiply, you are multiplying and adding, you are getting okay. If it is a big number, do the squaring. If it is more big number, cubing. Whichever number it will go, you have to see. Sometimes they will give addition. Sometimes they will give subtraction. First you see first one. Then same logic you apply for the second one. If it goes, then you go for the third one. This is little big number is there, one five one two five zero four and one sixty eight. This one number you don't know missing number you have to find out. For that what you have to do? What is the smallest number in this? You see first one sixty eight, one sixty eight. Three is I would do. How much you will get? Five not four. Then this one you three you will get. But you, here what is there in the answer? If you do multiply multiply by three this one, you will get more big number. But you have the answer very small number. That means what you have to do? You should go back in reverse order. Reverse order means what you have to do? One sixty eight is there. Here you are multiplying. You are getting this one. Do the division. One sixty eight divided by three you do. Whatever you will get that answer you find out. How many times it will go? Fifty-six times it will go. That means this is the answer. Fifty-six. If it is a big number, is there you have to multiply. If it is a less number, is there same way reverse order? You just divide and then write the answer. Either it will be squaring or cubing, or just multiply and do the addition or subtraction. This is the way it will be there. This is the simple sum I did. Now next part I'll do the. more sums
if you like my video share like and subscribe thank you for watching i'll come back with another nice video